the difference between trading and analysis. And um, so I, I made this video about the uh, Fibonacci. Uh, how it, it's complete garbage, really, um, from the standpoint of making money. There's, um, you know, I got a lot of these books, okay. And I used to buy books like this. Here's a book that cost $145 paperback. And this is part two of Decoding the Hidden Market Rhythm. Now, these are fascinating books. And this is like studying, um, say, uh, rocket jet propulsion and not really even considering that, you know, you're going to, build a spaceship but um, it's entertaining to read speculative books and, th and this is kind of like fantasy stuff and you know this guy's got six rave reviews there's not one customer that didn't give this guy five stars if you read through the reviews here it's things like um, no notice nobody says here that they made any money this book was interesting. Many excellent references. This book is very interesting. It contains market cycle concepts that you'll, fi you'll not find anywhere. Author explains that emotions cause market cycles. This volume, author presents a unique cyclical approach to the markets. One that's well-researched and documented. You know, this stuff is just not, this is not for making money, although this is very entertaining. Brilliant, innovative approach. The thoughts presented here are very clear and easy to follow. A fascinating book. Author, you know, good book about market cycles. It was interesting. You don't see anywhere here it says, I put some trades on and I found them to be profitable. You're not going to see that. And the video that I posted about the harmonic trading or about um, Fibonacci, which is related to harmonic trading, which is all related. And I just got done watching a harmonic trading video where the guy goes off on this garbage about, well, you know, this is uh, probably going to go up, probably could go down here. It always comes down to this. It's never going to end that when it comes down to trading the markets, it's always going to be, well, you know, it's a zone here. It could go either way. That's the problem with trading. Uh, the only address to that is your psychology and your um, mindset and not getting sucked into uh, dumb stuff. And realizing, you know, it's just, it's entertainment purposes only. And I think they should always advise people. These are for entertainment purposes only. I also went to the Turtle Traders site, and they're like, indicators don't work. Well, you know, order placement works, and you don't have to back test. Um, say you wrote a trade plan that has a 10 pip stop to make 20 pips. And people would say, well, you got to back, t you know, you don't know how to back test that. That's your trade plan, and that's it. It's as simple as that. This whole reliance on analysis is completely ridiculous. You could probably give some psych sociopath a, a, a bill of health based on some test that you wrote. You know, this guy's sane. He sent him out in the world, he kills 10 people. Oh, you know, our analysis said the guy had it together. Yeah, because you. It's like teaching to the test. You wrote, you came up with a questionnaire for this guy, and he actually passed it because you put a filter on it. So any moving average, anything you put on here other than what the market really is, people want to, you know, if, if the guy can't sing, what do you do? You put reverb on him or you put auto-tune on him, right? The market's a mess, so people want to try to, well, what if I do this? What if I put a bat wing on there? What if I put a cipher on there? What if I put a dishwasher on my chart? What if, and all these what ifs, it's just complete garbage. Garbage all day long. And I've got all the um, receipts from all the books. I mean, 
logarithmic spirals, you name it, not in one, very few of these books, if ever, do they talk about this is where you get in, this is where you get out, this is your how many times you should do this trade, this is a, none of that, never spoken of. Complete crickets, nobody's talking about it. The only thing that works is to sell high and buy low and buy low and sell high, and you just don't hear it. You don't hear anybody talking about that because, oh, well, you know, that's uh, that would be trading. And that would be risky to just, uh, oh, we'll just make a... And I mean, you can't even believe, and it, people make a whole living on entertaining people's very interesting. That's very interesting. That's what they say about bad art. That's very interesting. So are these books, you know, sure, you can massage your fantasy of what could be, what could have, what have, should have. But in the end, it's really going to be about, um, are you going to take that trade and are you, are you willing to risk that trade and if you're if you're expecting this uh, bat wing or this um, butterfly pattern to save your um, to make you money it's just it's ridiculous I mean it's so um, over extrapolated I mean really you could never get away with that in any other venture in life if you decided you were going to, um, you know, do anything in the physical world, mechanically speaking, you would be a complete failure and you would never sell that thing. But you can get away with it in trading because people think there's a hidden this and a hidden that and the hidden logic behind the market and what's really driving the market. And um, it's just like gagamag, it's stupid, you know, on and on with this stuff. What what matters is, are you going to buy here with a 10-pip stop, or are you going to buy here with a 50-pip stop? And that's, you know, unfortunately, there's nothing romantic in that. It's totally detached from any kind of, you know, there's no story to tell there. And, and oh, at the Turtle Trading site, they said support and resistance doesn't exist. Well, I don't know what world they come from. And the guy actually says, where you get in the market, I mean, it's just the most convoluted logic in the world. Where you get in the market is is a personal thing, right? Of course, but it still doesn't mean that this is not resistance, this is resistance, and that this top became this bottom and went flying up here. And last night when I bought here, uh, because we dropped down here, that my first exit of uh, to get out was here. So I made 25 pips. Now, if I let the rest of that trade go, I make 50 pips, right? Of course, this is the four hour chart, which means with the beauty of time frame switching, I can go to the half hour chart and I can see clear as day that a double top became a double bottom and it was a retest at the 25 yard line. So even if I which I did dump here. If I reload here and ride it to here, I just made another 25 pips. And here, this is such a, uh, because this is the half hour chart, if you drop down to the, and of course, it's always the 25 pip pullback entry to make another 25. So you could split that ticket. That's what it, that's what trading is. And there's no Gartley pattern. There is no way in hell a bat wing is going to get you in and out of this type of trading. When on a 15 minute chart, and, and then people don't want to go to a 15, oh, I don't want to trade a 15 minute chart. Yeah, right, because you have a you have deep pockets, you've got wide stops, but looking for the guy that does want to trade it. Um, bottom becomes a top in time only, not in price, because this could have taken 40 milliseconds. But if you have a buy limit here and you get picked up here and your first target is to get out of this trade, is going to be this price right okay well that's trading and now we're looking to buy here on pullbacks right it's just so i can't even believe people get duped into this stuff so you're going to buy here right and if you don't want to buy that exact price yeah you buy a zone and that's why i wrote all these scripts and that's why i script trade because it's the only way to get in this market 
and, and I want to sell this thing too. So I put sells up here because if it goes up, it's a sell high buy low and it's a buy low sell high game. It's that simple. There's nothing else to it. There is no mysticism other than the entertainment of garbage that you will find on the internet all day long, nonstop. And look at this stuff. I mean, people love this J.M. Hearst guy with the Gartley. Look at the profit. And this is all like, this is almost a religion into its own. The profit magic of stock transaction timing. And look at the, look at like people will just go on and on they'll never say oh i just i just bought a new house based on this technique read the reviews here the father of cycles books a classic for anyone into swing trading reading this book gave me your understanding of stock market movement people want to understand why a market did what it did that's more important to them than making money it's not about, it's not, a, you never see, look, when I first read this book almost eight years ago, it was overwhelmed the amount of information, volu, volu, voluminous, but, but meaty. Reading it made you feel like you were letting into some secret that only the best traders understood. This book's a classic, but not for the faint hearted. Oh, this is very intellectual stuff, people. Great book about the stock market, especially technical analysis, written in 1968. What is a long time ago? With with the advent of computers, I'd be interested to see how his theories hold up now. You just see, where where's the guy saying, "Oh, this is just I cleaned house on this technique." What a strategy! I bought five houses. Excellent, but a little outdated. I thought, well, Hearst goes. How about some? Look at difficult reading. Highly respected person in the options industry labeled it one of the three top books of all time. Here's finally an honest look at Hearst Premier Stock predictable fine line frequency spectrum is the data. One star. We we need more low stars on this stuff. But you got to be kidding me, really? Um most intellectual stock market no mention of anybody you can go through every one of these things you you click on any one of these things you're never going to see anybody say and these trading books they prey upon the the guy they, they're charging so much for these books you just blow your brains out right look at the prices of these books 70 dollars mastering her cycles read the review here he's you, you got to be kidding me with this stuff right Look at 500 pages. You got through that book? You should win. A, you should get some. You should have some money for that. You know, just get a good book. But, uh, well, well, I look at for a full time guy trading's like, you know, gives it three stars. There you go. But the people that don't trade and the people, look at uh, the genius of it all, like a diamond bullet. Genius writing to embellish. Another genius work. I just predicting it's all this like gar excellent, excellent. No, nope, just you know, it's just complete garbage. Save your money. Go trade the market. White knuckle trade this puppy. Decide: Are you gonna sell high and buy low? Or are you gonna buy low and sell high? Set it, forget it. Trading. Walk away. Done. Shping. Why torture yourself? But if you're entertained by these books and these harmonics and all this garbage, knock yourself out. It has nothing to do with making money. Never will. I just watched a whole cycle video. I couldn't get through it because the guy kept on backpedaling and, oh, well, this is the alternate back wing. Don't forget, the. this is like the Elliott Wave guys. You know, there's an alternate wave count. I'm like, you know, there's also uh, some some psychedelic drugs you could be doing and you could trade and see how that works.